So what are the differences you've seen in how campaigns are run um, since when you started to where you are now? Uh, well, there, when I started, the, you know, there was the idea that you would have a website was, you know, innovative. Um, you remember, I, you know, when I said there was no Google, there was no YouTube, there was no Facebook, there was no Twitter, all these things that we take for granted as like the, the old school digital campaign tactics now didn't exist. Um, we did in 2004, we, um, from the RNC, we, we in costumes because yeah, John Kerry was a flip flopper. So we got flipper and we put a couple of interns in, in dolphins and we literally had a guy drive them around chasing the Kerry Edwards campaign plane in a van. And they would show up at the debates and everything. We got them in People Magazine and everything. We did all of this without any of the digital tools. I and mean, can you imagine what we could have done if we had them on Twitter and they had a YouTube page and they were on Facebook and the Facebook Live and all the other things, we would have reached so many more people with that message. It would have been, I think that would have moved things a couple of points in our direction even more. Um, Those characters would have had their way. own account, right? What's that? Those characters would have had their own accounts. And then- they Oh yeah, absolutely. Following them, they would have been merchandise. I mean, there would have been all these kind of stuff around that idea. Instead exactly. of just a few, th few interns following the candidate around. Correct. Yeah. And we, we had to really depend on the, the mainstream media to get that word out for us, right. you know, and to, to highlight, you know, highlight the big win was getting them in People Magazine with the image on, you know, from crazy stuff happening on the campaign trail um, and having reporters see them and, and kind of reinforce with the reporters the message we were trying to drive home about John Kerry. That was the real impact, not necessarily with voters. We could have gone straight to voters. And I, and I would also point out, you know, you look at 2004, we produced a 12 minute carry on Iraq documentary that, that, you know, I did a lot of the, re I was the senior defense and foreign policy analyst for the RNC campaign. So a lot of this was my research and we literally, we found video from all this, you know, for 20 years of John Kerry's evolving position on Iraq and how he flip flopped back and forth, back and forth on this, on this key issue in that campaign. Well, at that time, it would have taken about an hour and a half for the average voter to download, <laughs> even if they had an internet connection, to download that video and watch it. So we literally mailed 100,000 DVDs to voters so they could see this, see this documentary, this 12 minute documentary. Well, now you would have popped that on YouTube, you had 100,000 100, views in the first hour or two. Right, and the million, millions and millions, millions of people. And the only thing that would happen is the cost of production, and you'd put it yeah. up, yeah, you'd have no mailing, no nothing, and it would, it would find its way. And then, and then to f go further into what, what I actually do professionally, we, you know, we had, um, we thought we were so sophisticated, we had uh, operatives in Iowa and New Hampshire on the ground with video cameras, with the little digital audio, digital tapes, mm -hmm follow tracking with you know camcorders the democratic presidential candidates because there were you know i think about 10 or 10 or 12 candidates you know in that field trying to run against president bush and so very from very early on we were doing that they would then fedex these tapes back to headquarters where we would then you know work through watching that you know popping them in a vcr you know it's the that took the little digital tapes and watching through that footage for anything. Then if we found something, we'd run down to the studio so they could cut and edit out those pieces so that they could be used in ads or, or anything else that we wanted to do. Well, now you literally are carrying around, you know, your video device and you're, you can live stream it back to headquarters. They can watch in real time for what they might be saying. You can record it and upload it immediately. And I think I saw, you know, we kind of first saw this phenomenon start in 2008, you know, with, you know, during the Giuliani campaign where you know, he hadn't campaigned for anything since, for himself since 2000. Mm -hmm. and, and just the way things had changed, you know, he wasn't, he was used to reporters coming, talking in that scrum, and then they'd go and report a story and show up the next morning or maybe be on the news that night. Well, now all of a sudden, the, the reporters are literally at the event uploading on a laptop, the video and the story of what he just said. 
and it and so the the speed to to getting information out and the stream and the stream and amount of information is so much greater now 